Welcome back to some more Star Sector. If you recall, last video we created our first colony around Orpheus. You know, we had to create kind of a convoy to get here, so we need to scale back a little and get to some and get back to some earn some money. So, I wanted to discuss a little about storage. When you visit colonies in this game and when you have your own colony there's this concept of storage so for instance you'll see this saris corporation is us you'll see this on any kind of screen you go to there's a storage screen this is basically your a separate inventory since we own this colony we get it for free you have to pay a small amount to get access to it at other colonies so we can store uh, equipment here. So let's move a bunch in here. This is our main base of operations. So we can keep uh, our stuff here. Excellent. The same applies to ships. Oops, so confirm. All right, so if you go to fleet, and look up top there's a storage screen now why would you want to store ships well they may i mean so you have your fleet not all ships are appropriate for a fleet like these freighters and tankers and stuff now do i want to uh bring a civilian transport into battle with me Probably not. It takes up command points. It takes up supplies. It affects the speed at which we can burn. All sorts of things. So when we're not using these ships, we can go ahead and store them. So we'll store that one. We have a freighter here. We don't need that one. Let's see. Carrier. We'll take that one keep this guy what is this another civilian transport will store that so this will lessen the amount of crew and cargo capacity and supplies we can carry but it'll make our fleet more lean uh, less crew needed and, and things like that so then we can go look in storage And there's the three ships. So we can come back later and take them when we need them. So storage, you know, plays an important part while we're here. Uh, this is a custom civilian transport. Let's see. Is, does this have any... It, it doesn't have much of a hard point. It only has the one hard point. So uh, let's... I don't really have much options here for it. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and store that one too. Okay, so now we're kind of a much leaner. What is this one? Combat freighter. Yeah, combat freighters, I'll definitely, I, I definitely like to keep because if we look at it, you know, they have a bunch of hard points that we can put weapons on. So it's not a big deal to keep them in and we do need some sort of capacity take a look at crew cargo we can go sell this later oh so we'll for storage we will store these fighters with thunderwing that looks so yeah, we'll store these fighters. What are these guys? More fighters, store them. And we have some blueprints, which we will go into in a video soon, because now that we have a colony, colonies lead you into blueprints and construction and crafting and things like that. So confirm. 
we're storing our AI core here. This is illegal in a bunch of places, and it's useful in colonies, which we'll talk about. So we'll, we'll leave that kind of here for now. And let's see the rest. That's good. So, yep. Storage, definitely something you want to make use of. Can I move these around? Oh, nice. What is this guy? Combat custom freighter. Let's put him here. Frigate here. I need to get some more frigates for sure. So I have two frigates. I have no frigate here, freighter here. I don't know if this order makes any difference, but we have destroyer tanker. Let me see. Do we, do we want to store this tanker? I'm thinking not because the fuel capacity is useful. So I'm going to keep that tanker in the fleet. So there you go. That's kind of how storage works. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. I almost forgot to show you this. No, that's not it. If you go under command, we'll go into this at some point soon, this screen. But if you go to income, there's a storage tab. So I'm paying 580 credits for storage in Ankara. So you do have, there is a pay, uh, kind of paywall, not paywall. There is a, a price to having storage on these other places, but you know, it's pretty cheap. And if you have storage strategically located, it's not a big deal. All right. So that's storage. I hope that helps. Have a great day.